Then an hour ago, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin wrapped up a town hall on education. Yeah, this aired on CNN and the questions came from Virginia voters. Casey Nolan is in the newsroom to tell us about one moment that stood out. Case? Well, the topics for this town hall ranged from safety in schools to students' mental health, but Governor Youngkin took one pointed question about his policy on gender identity in Virginia public schools from an Arlington student, 17 year old Nico. Take a look. Uh, Governor Youngkin, your transgender model policies require that students play on the sports teams and use the restrooms that correspond with their sex assigned at birth. Look at me. I am a transgender man. Do you really think that the girls in my high school would feel comfortable sharing a restroom with me? Yeah, so first of all, Nico, thank you for again asking the question and being here tonight and uh, engaging in this important discussion. I believe first, when parents are engaged with their children, then you can make good decisions together. And I met your dad, and I'm glad that you're both here together. That's really, really important. I also think that there are lots of students involved in this decision. And what's, what's most important is that we try very hard to accommodate students. That's why I have said many, many times, we just need extra bathrooms in schools. We need gender neutral bathrooms, and so people can use a bathroom that they, in fact, are comfortable with. I think sports are very clear, and I don't think it's controversial. I don't think that biological boys should be playing sports with biological girls. And this town hall was in D.C. tonight, and outside the CNN studio, a group of Virginia students protested the governor's presence and his policies. They call themselves the Pride Liberation Project, a student run group of LGBTQ plus people and allies. And this was a big national stage for Virginia's governor, who's been at the center of a lot of buzz as a possible Republican candidate for president. But one of his political advisors told The Washington Post this was not about him. It was about his work getting the national attention. Leslie and that attention is not going to go away. All right, Casey, thank you.